Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a little bit of a different kind of video because I'm preparing to go busking right now but I realized that my strings are kind of dead. So it needs a restring and I think the frets and everything you know with the guitar could use some help as well. So I'm going to introduce you to some of the products that I use. This is not a sponsored video but I am a recovering music nomad addict and you'll see why. So we first gotta begin with our, you know, a place to work and this is where I have the Music Nomad Work Mat. There you go, this is the work mat that I use and uh, I will use this to prop up the guitar. So this is actually double up as a stationary holder as well. So I have all my stationary dumped out and this is where I will put the guitar snack on it. It also has different angles that you could put it, right? So maybe you have your bass with a wider neck or you have something that is slightly lower, then you could use the lower one. For acoustic guitar, I find that this way works best, right? So we can just put the guitar and then it will rest nicely like this on it. So when you're working on it, you see, your guitar wouldn't move. And I used to be, you know, doing this restrings on my bed because I don't want to damage anything. But now this is so much easier. So one of my favorite all-time products is the Guitar Detailer. And this is just a general cleaner of sorts, right? You can use this for both matte and gloss finishes. And I use this a lot, like after each gig, you know, when my guitar is sweaty, I just spray a bit on a cloth, on a piece of cloth. And then you can use that cloth to wipe down your guitar. Or you could spray it directly on your guitar and then just wipe it off. I like this so much that I bought a bigger one. This is the tech size. So I just hope that the spray works well. Because this small one, sometimes the, the spray doesn't work well after a while. But this one I managed to use all the way until the end. Right, so just a spray on the, you know, either side of the... This is also for Music Nomad. It has the, the you know, the furry side to clean off more stubborn dirt. And then this is just for mainly like just for polishing. Right, so you could make sure you shake it and then Oh, you gotta make sure it's on. Hmm? On. Right, spray some onto the cloth. And then you can just give your guitar a general wipe down. Right. Uh, actually, to be honest, this is my GS Mini, which I've used for many, many years. So the matte finish is kind of wearing out. So it doesn't really work very well. But I still use this for my neck. You know, just to clean up the neck. And you could just use this to give it an overall wipe down. And that takes out a lot of the grime uh, and keeps your guitar in good shape. Okay, so that's the guitar detailer. The next item that I use is actually this Martin String Winder and it looks like this. And I bought this for two reasons. Number one, this is noiseless, right? So when you turn it, it doesn't have any sound. And more importantly, the second reason is that this is all padded. So when you put this on your tuning packs, it will not scratch anything, right? In fact, this over here is padded as well. Whereas I used to use the plastic one, it either annoyed the hell out of me with the with the creaking noises on the screw, or as you can see here, you see, when it hits the guitar, it will, it will scratch it. So this one does neither of those. I really recommend using some, one of these, right? See, if you just do that quickly, you can take off the string. And then out it goes. Right, really convenient and really quickly. Would you prefer that? Or would you prefer... It's literally night and day. The screeching sound, the noise, the hell out of me, and it makes me feel very awkward. And this one is perfect. It's fast as well, you see? They also design it nicely so that it fits pretty well. And then, if your tuning packs are of a certain size, it has no way of scratching up the guitar on the side. You see, as you see here, right? It's really nice. So I highly recommend this uh, uh, string winder. I actually didn't know that this was from Music Nomad, but when I read the uh, instructions on the back. Martin Guitar partnered with Music Nomad Equipment Care to de redesign their game-changing grip winder. So this is, if you see uh, Music Nomad, they actually have a similar grip winder. So 
I reckon this is actually more or less the same thing. The one thing that I haven't showed you guys yet is my all-time favorite music nomad equipment. And this is actually my first music nomad equipment. And that is this inconspicuous thing looking here. This thing basically helps you to clean the strings, right? So you could clean the top of the strings or you could slide it below and clean the bottom of the strings. I feel like this really helps to extend your uh, string life and keep your strings clean. And you could also use this to dust off your string, uh, dust off your guitar, right? So, I mean, look at how much dirt it got out in. I feel like I really love this. This is probably my second or third one. It's really worth every uh, penny. After getting all the strings out, what I like to do is I just like to bundle them nicely and then you could, so that you can, you can just throw this very easily. The next thing you need to do is to clean up your frets and your fretboard and this is where it's very important. If you take a look, there's a lot of gunk. I mean, I maintain my guitars fairly well, so there's not so much, but if you take a look here, there's like a lot of gunk over stuck in the corners over here. But as you can see here, my frets are maintained fairly well. They're like all shiny and not rusted. Because I use, I've been trying a lot of products, right? So I use the Gorgomite fret and fingerboard cleaner and conditioning cloth. But they changed their formula. And right now, it's a very weird piece of cloth that when I rub it, there's a lot of particles and powder and I don't know what coming out. And I, I really don't. I think this would be my last packet if they don't change the formulation. I also tried, you know, abrasive paper you know this kind of abrasive paper of different grades because i don't want to use steel wool because i know you know with the particles and everything but this one does the same thing you know there's stuff flying out and uh i've been trying to find uh something to cheat uh, to clean my frets well and haven't really had much luck with that and then when i did some research i saw that music nomad had some fret and fret board cleaning equipment so this is the fine fret polishing kit which I think is pretty good. So it comes with um, the fret uh, frying, fret polish, right over here. And it comes with the different uh, fret guards. So you could put one on your fret and then, and then it doesn't obstruct anything else and you can just apply the uh, fret polish on it. So I, I quite like the idea and it has a nice um, little polishing cloth. So I'm trying to find the right one. So you can see it. this one fits, but it still has some give. So I'm going to try another one. And this one fits perfectly, right? I cannot really move it at all. So I'm going to use this one. And what I will do is I will just shake this frying polish. Just give it a shake. So now we're putting the frying fret polish on the cloth. Oops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not supposed to be like this. Just some put some frying fret polish on the cloth and then put on the fret guard use the fret guard and find one that it fits nicely and then you can apply should just do this for a while and you get pretty good results you know this is the one that i, pol I polish compared to the ones at the side right this is really pretty good but you see that there's still some grime on the corners of the fretboard right this is where the next product comes in next we have the f1 unfinished fretboard care kit right it comes with a cleaning cloth with an abrasive and a smooth side and it comes with a brush which i think is very very good this is the brush and i'll show you later and it comes with a standard f uh fretboard f1 oil so the way to use this is you just put a one drop on each fret and then with the abrasive side, just give it a good rub, right? This will rub out all the grime and all the dirt. And at the same time, give your fret, uh, give your fretboard a good polish, right? So here, here you can see, I'm trying to get to each and every corner, right? Just give it a good rub with the abrasive side. And this doesn't really scratch out the fretboard, unless your fretboard is like of a poor quality where, you know, there's some paint or lacquer on it. Right, then you see all the dirt that's come out. And then you use the, the smooth side to then buff it up. 
just look at how much difference that is. I just did the first three frets in like 30 seconds. And the next three frets, there's like lots of gunk. But over here on the left, not so much. A bit lesser, but there's still some gunk over here. So this is where the next product comes in, which is this brush. You see, you can just do that. To the corners, get rid of all the gunk. Give it a brush. And everything is gone. It's like nothing much anymore. So, wow, I really love the products from Music Nomad. And this is what I, uh, I spend my free time on. <laughs> and I've just polished all of these frets and see there's no residue or there's no like powdery or bits of metal coming out. So this is a very nice solution that's very clean and effective. Wow, look at that. Now to tune it up, we're gonna stretch the strings as we tune as well. Frets, beautiful frets, as good as new. Beautiful. This is music, no matte products. I'm really impressed because I didn't set out to, you know, specifically buy music, no matte products. But with each product that I bought, it's like, eh, somehow everything seems to be from music, no matte. And uh, I think the people over there are extremely dedicated to, you know, guitar maintenance and everything. And I'm just glad that uh, I managed to find this product. So. Good job Music Nomad and uh, hope you learned a thing or two in this video. I'll see you next time.